realities of a very public life. Jade Goody has revealed details of how she's spending the time she has left surrounded by her loved ones. The 27-year-old Big Brother star has terminal cancer, and last week she left hospital in London to return home to Essex to spend the remainder of her life where she'll be most comfortable. She's now so weak that she's spending most of her time asleep, but before her condition deteriorated, she told a magazine she hoped she'd left people with lots of laughs to remember her by and was sorry if she'd made people cry over her emotional wedding, which was shown on television last week. She described spending the day with her family at home last Thursday after getting out of hospital. There was a three-hour visit from her sons, Bobby and Freddie, singing along as her husband Jack Tweed played the guitar for them before a night spent eating chocolate and watching TV. Jade's story has made headlines around the world, attracting plenty of attention and messages of support from fellow celebrities. There have been flowers from the likes of Robbie Williams and Amy Winehouse, and the most famous well-wisher of all is Michael Jackson, who rang Jade in hospital to say he was thinking of her and getting his brother Jermaine, who starred alongside Jade in Celebrity Big Brother two years ago, to keep him up to date with how she's doing. Another ex-housemate, Shilpa Shetty, who famously became embroiled in a race row with Jade during the series, had hoped to visit her. The two made their peace after leaving the house, and Shilpa was hosting the Indian version of Big Brother, in which Jade was starring when she found out she had cervical cancer last summer. Shilpa wanted to say goodbye. That now won't happen, because her friend is... Hello, I'm Jade. Both Hello. famous and infamous. You're not no priestess, dear. You're no Her life played out in front of the cameras until the very end. Jade Goody was Britain's most well-known reality TV star. Her life documented right until her death. She was just 27 years old. Jade Goody's life started here in Bermondsey, a pretty gritty part of South East London. The daughter of drug users, she spent much of her childhood in and out of foster care. Despite her tough upbringing though, she'd managed to carve herself a career out as a dental nurse that was until she applied to be a member of a reality TV show. Yeah, cool. No, don't Fine. try that, PJ. Get your What's get, my get your drink? Get my drink. Get my right. Cameron Diaz. Don't start. I lost. Yeah, you do. Fine. Start. David Small. <laughs> you going to play or not, Alex? I thought you weren't no, playing. Wrong, Come on, Regan, start it off. Tracy Chapman. To your right. To you? Cameron Diaz. Um, David Beckham. Good girl. Good one. Bob Monkhouse. Alex! Brian Clough. <laughs> I don't like seeing you like this. Clive Tilsdale. <laughs> My kebab is shoving. Clive Tilsdale. Yeah, yeah. Football commentator. Go. Drink what you think. Everything I do is football. Drink what you think. <laughs> Timmy Mullers. Nice. Drink, Katie. Michael Cohn. Good one. See. You. Um, drink, sure please, Jodie. Um, yeah, drink, Jodie. Jade. Jade. <laughs> Jade, lift your arm up. Um, <laughs> you can see a whole nipple. Um, drink, what do you think? <laughs> um, um, <laughs> Kevin Costner. Gone. Good. I'm sorry, no. We've had it. Three, oh, three, 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 three times. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Goody, sorry, but he said about three times, ago, Jade. Three times, Kevin Costner. He's already had to strip because of. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> no one. I'm sorry. You'll go to the diary room as you are I'm and say your name. Faster. <laughs> 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 so about the rules. Oh, no. <laughs> whether we're gonna. Whether we're gonna. His first name. You whether we're gonna enforce him or not. You know. And my name is Mark. You've got to go to the diary room as you are when you take your thumb off and say your name and you start on your age. Isn't that the next time that you get it wrong? Yeah. You first you get naked. Okay, so get oh. naked. You agree? Jade nipple. Jade. Jade nipple. Nipple. <laughs> Jade nipple. Thank you. <laughs> we might look Jade. <laughs> oh, I'll turn away. I don't want to do this. <laughs> Cover okay. it. No one's forcing you. No one's forcing you. I've agreed agree to let you off this one. Oh, oh no. <laughs> We've all agreed. I'm sorry, but you guys Can better do it. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Jade, start us off. Let's go. Jade's naked. Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Jade, start us off. Oh, <laughs> You've got to go to the dark. <laughs> <laughs>
You've got to go and tell them your name, your age, and the date of birth. It's ringing. It's Jade, it's ringing. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Wait, it goes green. <laughs> it's gone green already. Oh, it's my God. <laughs> no! Jade, of all the names you could have come up with. <laughs> Jade, just, no. make, it, just make a dash. Just make a dash for it. Kate. No. Katie. No. Katie. Let's be fair. No. Jade's naked. She just <laughs> she just sits there and watches the rest of us, right? And I want to! Oh, until we, until, like until we get that way, and then when we that way, we all okay. go in the diary room and make a message of our own, right? Kate, new rules. Jay just sits <laughs> no. there. Big foot at you. Kate, sit down now. You sure? Get it. Kate. <laughs> Jade just sits here. Jade just watches the game and we just play now. Right? <laughs> oh, no, we'll no. we'll make a message in the diary room, mate. Okay. Right, who's starting off? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Is Jade not playing anymore then? No, no. Jade's not. It's time to go straight. Oh, I'll go It's oh. alright, the leg now. They've heard me saying forget. I'll watch it. Uh, <laughs> who goes first? first? I'll go first. I do say forget it. PJ, who goes first? PJ! I'll go first. PJ! To my left, Goran. Five minute pillow. No, can't. Yes! Goran Izanisovic. Is that me? Oh, yeah, I. Um. No, it's not. No, yeah. you're out. It's Kate. <laughs> it's Kate. <laughs> oh, you're out. Oh, right. It's you. Stop stalling. Drink while you think. Oh, no! Ice cube. Is that a person? Yeah, it's fine. Of course it is. So <laughs> is it she? Is it C? Mm. Or is it one word? Is it C? C. Kathy <laughs> Dennis. It's not a K. No, that's a C. Cool. This is Dan awful. I don't like this. Not Danny one Mills. Bit. Oh, sorry, but Danny Mills. Mills. Great M. Great! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Marcus Stewart. <laughs> okay, Marcus. He's still she could have had little idea where it would all take her. Picked from nowhere as a housemate on Channel 4's Big Brother in 2002. Just 20 at the time, it didn't take long for the press and public to begin their ridicule. Now, who in the right frame of mind would make themselves look like a donut on purpose? They were, after all, easy headlines. She thought Cambridge was in London, East Anglia, as she put it, was abroad, and Rio de Janeiro was a person. Quickly, though, she learned to play on it all, and so this apparently simple young woman transformed herself, with the help of a clever PR team, into the most successful former Big Brother contestant to date. Jade Goody left the Big Brother house with screams from the baying public shouting, kill the pig. And yet she transformed that to become a household name and loved for being a bit daft and funny but I think most importantly, extremely human and full of flaws. So you know she didn't have a game plan. You know that's not what Jade Goody was about, and that's what we love, somebody who is real. Her first day here at the Big Brother house certainly made Jade Goody famous, but it was to be her return trip here for the celebrity edition that was to make headlines of a completely different kind. Good for you! No, Good no, for no. you! My kind of fame is meeting you, you loser! Her next day in the Big Brother house... This time, the celebrity edition in 2007. No, wait, shut up. You shut up. Shut up. You shut up. Who the f are you to tell me to don't shut use, up? You might be some priestess in Neverland, but I don't give a f You're not no f priestess here. You're a normal housemate like everybody else. A quick quickly clash with Bollywood actress Shilpa Shetty. No, and the racism no. allegations flew. 45,000 people complained. Why not? It all led to this extraordinary interview with the News of the World. I am sincerely sorry for the pain and hurt I caused the Shilpa's family. Within it, though, a sad hint of her childhood growing up in East London. I've only ever been brought up on watching people argue with swear words in it and, and the aggression that I, that I held. All this, enough material and enough interest for not one but two autobiographies. There was a marathon, a cookbook, a perfume range and a trip to India to mend the offence she'd caused. But the voyeurism she thrived on went on to another level as she became a contestant on Big Boss, the Indian Big Brother. She was summoned to the diary room to receive a call from her doctor. It was then, on camera, that she was told she had cancer. 
another tragic moment of her life played out with her agreement for all to see. And yet the self-propelled publicity continued. The cameras joined her as she received treatment. Embarrassed to be feeling this morning, to be honest. In December 2008, she explained her motivation in an interview with Five News. I can't manage a year um, with not, without working. I know it's really weird, but this is my job. You know, you get TV presenters, that's their job. You get lawyers, that's their job. Well, I put myself in the public eye seven years ago, and as of yet, I haven't been pulled out of it. There are people that are sick of me, but there are people that like me, and, and I'm just carrying on doing my job, and my motivation is stability for my children, and that is it. And so it went on at the forefront always, the future security of her two boys, Bobby and Freddie. She had them christened and she herself was also baptised in a ceremony in hospital. Not long after the news that her cancer was terminal though, she announced her engagement to boyfriend Jack Tweed. Then came the wedding. It was, as she had always wanted, headline news everywhere. The wedding she described as the happiest day of her life, a high-profile event underwritten by both OK Magazine and Living TV. The money, around a million pounds for both deals. It was a mixture of formality and jokes. And while it may have looked strange to invite cameras into this private event, Jade Goody, we're told, was behind the decision to sell exclusive access. The money, she said, was for her boy's future. And the man who orchestrated those deals says it was completely her idea. I mean, Jade was someone who, what you see is what you get. Um, in, in her own words to me, look, Max, I'm ignorant, but I'm determined my boys will have the best education possible because... I know that that will give them the best possible chance. Um, she was very, very happy that her cervical cancer um, had brought this whole matter to the attention of Britain. And that because of it, there's been a huge increase in young women having cervical cancer smears. But while others would benefit, her life was to end soon. On the 11th of March, she left hospital to spend her last days at home. I know you don't want it. She became yeah. reality TV at its rawest, perhaps at times its lowest. She was so naive and quite um, gullible in some ways. And I think her upbringing, her past, obviously uh, um, the situation with her mum and her father and everything, that sort of life story to then be where she was, I think, you know, as they say, it's like going from, I suppose, like a Cinderella story, isn't it? You know, going from, from nothing to having everything. And I think that's what I think, uh, the, the press sort of latched on to. Through it all, though, it was a reminder of what publicity can do. She prompted a marked increase in cervical screenings. And so, in the end, whether you warm to her or not, Jay Goody's moment in the spotlight... <laughs>
想起了。Nine years to the day after the tragic death of Jade Goody, her lonely grave lies neglected and run down at the edge of a cemetery in Epping, Essex. A rotting plant, a wilting flower and six empty plant pots adorn the dilapidated gravestone, while the writing has eroded to the point of being almost indecipherable in places. However, the mother of two, whose sons Bobby, 14, and Freddie, 13, are being raised by their dad Jeff Brazier, clearly still gets visitors, with a jar of fresh, seasonal daffodils having been laid by her resting place. Nonetheless, the site chosen by Jade at Parish Church of St. Thomas in Upshire looks a world away from how it did in 2010, just a year after she lost her battle with cervical cancer aged just 27. Back then it was festooned with floral tributes, with bereft mum Jackie Budden dutifully tending to the display. In 2016, Jeff revealed he takes the boys to visit their mum's grave every Christmas Day morning so that they don't feel guilty about enjoying the day. Christmas is the one day of the year when it's most obvious someone's missing. It had to become less about the presents, he told the Daily Record. I take them to the cemetery first thing in the morning. Then we have dealt with this. We go home and can enjoy the day. They have paid respect to their mum and they don't feel guilty about enjoying the day at home. For Jackie's part, she marks every anniversary of her daughter's passing by wearing the nightie she died in. It doesn't get easier, I know it's supposed 